Hi guys, so yep, you've guessed it, we're going to pick up another fish, another African cichlid from our local aquarium store. Now the last couple of times, the last couple of fish that I've bought have been from a, um, a place about an hour's drive north near my friend Chris's house. And um, yeah, so we're going to my local aquarium this time. Let's go get some fishies, guys. Wow, look at these guys. Never seen black ones of these. Calico bubble eye. How can they live like that? How would they know where to eat? Weird. They look healthy. These are beauties. Isn't that beautiful? It's so massive. So I'm thinking of getting one of these. I've had one in the past, but he um, he had issues with the pH when I had pH issues in my tank. But yeah, he's beautiful, as you can see. Let's get him home. So here he is. Hopefully he doesn't splash around too much. Now what I'm going to do is slowly add aquarium water to this container. So this container is only about 25% full. All right, let's get let's get him home. So this is my new fishy. Beautiful colors. So this is fish number 28 for this aquarium. Now I did have one similar to this, pretty much exactly the same. I got him from the same shop and he's the same sort of fish, a dragon, but I don't know what color he is. But I took him to the pet shop because the other fish were harassing him. This is at a time when I had high pH in the water, so I don't know if this guy was just the first one to go for that reason. But the others were certainly nipping at him and I had to take him back to the pet shop. I'm not even sure if he survived, to be honest. But um, So I've got another one of these guys, they're so beautiful. So that's 28. Fish number 29 is going to be another one of these red ones, as soon as they get him in stock. They have no idea when they're going to come in, but these guys are so beautiful, I want another one. But yeah, so this is my new guy. I'm hoping he's a male. I don't know how to tell. Let me know in the comments if you have any clues as to whether these guys are males or female. Alright guys, thanks for watching this far. Please like and subscribe if you want more fishy videos. I've got plenty of playlists on all sorts of things from tattoos to unboxings to fishies. Lately I've been doing a lot more fish videos because I've just gotten in the hobby in the last year or so. Probably even longer than that. And if you're asking for my one advice, it'd have to be to buy a bloody big tank. Buy the biggest... I've heard people say this and I didn't adhere to it. They say, buy the biggest tank you can afford. So I started off with a little, a little fish bowl. And I upgraded from the fishbowl to a one and a half foot tank. And then I went from that to a three foot tank. Then I got a four foot tank. And this is my fifth, this is my five foot tank. The one I just showed you. And um, yeah, at the end of the year, I'm hoping to buy a six footer. So that'll be another upgrade. And hopefully that'll be the last upgrade I need. Because these guys, these guys aren't even fully grown. These guys are probably about half grown, even less than that. These guys will probably triple in size. And um, for that, I want them to be comfortable. I don't want them to be uncomfortable and cramped. That's the only reason why I want to upgrade. And it'd be pretty cool as well. And it also mean less water changes as well. Like if there's more water volume. I did a water test, uh, sorry, a water change this morning. I did 40%. I'm not sure if you can see that line there. That green tape. That's where the water limit goes to when I drain it. When I do a sy siphon vacuum. And, um, yeah, so I did a 40% water change, and then I, uh, filled it up, and I did a water parameter test, and it came up as being still relatively high in nitrates. So, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to do another 40% change, and hopefully that'll bring down the nitrates to an acceptable level. It's kind of tricky with these guys, because, um, I have to add, where is this stuff? The Malawi Victoria alkaline buffer powder so what that does is increases the, the uh, 
the pH in the tank, making it more alkaline, less acidic. As you might know, African cichlids need high alkaline water. So, yeah, I'll have to add some of that in as well. I'm going to do another water test, uh, water change tomorrow. Get these nitrates down to an acceptable level. They're at about, what is it, probably about 30 parts per million, 30, 40 parts per million. It's about like a dark orange on the API Freshwater Master Tens kit, test kit. So, yeah, it's still bright orange, but it's not red, so it's not too bad. But I still want to maintain control over the, the ammonia, uh, the, uh, the nitrate, sorry. Are they hassling him? Oh, this guy's hassling him. Another dragon bud. He's not too much of a busy bully, usually. So he's a cutie. There's another dragon blood. Alright guys, thanks for watching this far. Like and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.